A couple gives new definition to the meaning of steamboat, a woman who uses Ikea as if it was her home, and an uncle who stopped traffic with his body. These were the top trending stories on Citizen Journalism website STOP. Disgusted Stomper STST sent in this photo which he took at a steamboat restaurant on Thompson Road. According to him, this couple was engaged in some pretty heavy PDA that's almost verge on soft porn. They carried on for more than an hour after dinner, oblivious and unconcerned with the stares from other customers and the sights and smells of an eatery. They even took turns sitting on each other's lap. Okay, a little PDA is alright, but in a steamboat restaurant with all that smell for more than an hour? Come on, get a room already. And that's exactly what Stompers taught. Stomper the Tariq Road, get a room while Stomper Kelvin suggested Hotel 81, 2 hours, $30. Some Stompers like Andrew Dunks SK did see the funny side of it. Very appropriate behaviour in a steamboat restaurant. Customers are served with steaming seafood while watching a steaming floor show. Where is the problem, he asked. There's a place and time for everything, people. Steamy couple, you've been served. Palau, gonna storm. Still on inappropriate behaviour at a wrong place, this story sent in by Storm Michelle shows a woman eating breakfast at a kitchen table. The only problem? This kitchen is not in her home. It's in the dining furniture section of IKEA. Some people actually didn't see anything wrong with that. Thomas like Baby Jack said, if she's not causing a mess, why not? Good advert for IKEA that their furniture is comfortable. While Stomper I saw wrote, maybe unconventional or even weird, but definitely not shameless. If she clears up her plates and cleans up the table after eating, she's not causing any inconveniences to other people. Some Stompers like Chanbara and J12345 suggested that it may have been a clever marketing campaign. It's a girl promoting IKEA furniture and hmm, maybe just a gimmick or ad. Okay, we can see how some people accept what she did as reasonable behaviour. But there's definitely something not right about what this guy did. Motorists at Bishan Street 11 were perplexed by this elderly uncle who at first appears to have been knocked down by a car. But turns out he had purposely positioned himself there. This happened at 28th of March at around 6.30pm and was sent in by Stomper Anthony who captured it on his in-car camera. Sadly, Stompers think it was nothing more than an attention-seeking old man. Stomper ANGG Road just wants to get attention, while Stomper Singapore scene voiced some pretty strong words. Trying to commit suicide at a driver's expense? Whee. Stomper Nancy Wheel pointed out that even if the car had stopped, it was still a dangerous stunt. She commented, what if a car overtook this car and didn't notice this stupid guy on the ground and ran him over? Whose fault would it be then? Well, we're not sure why the uncle did that, but stunts like that do endanger both pedestrians and motorists. So let's find a better way of dealing with our problems. And that's it for this week's Gonna Stomp. We'll be back next week with more of the best stories on Citizen Journalism website, Stomp.